well, what's up there, guys? There's my long shadow, as if as I'm not fucking tall enough at six foot three. I'm here in the Hochelaga sector of Montreal, Quebec, where I've been living for the past fucking five years. Hard to believe, considering how this place is getting close to driving me up the fucking wall, and I can't believe how they say, or how I always say, there's a price to pay for everything. Anyway, regardless of all that shit, I've been wanting to film this fucking van for two fucking years now, I think. Okay? And the funny thing is about that is that this guy's parked a block from my place. Right? A block away. And every time I wanted to film it, I'm like, you know what, I'll film it later, I'll do it some other time. And then, like, I would come home often, and I'm like, oh, there it is, it's parked on my street. It's on this side, it's on that side, whatever, one day. And I'm like, I was too tired, I didn't want to do it. I'm like, fuck, I was lazy, I was complacent. And here it is, in the low sun, exactly the way I want to film. Not in the high noon when it's too bright, not when it's too fucking dark, especially not when it's cloudy, when we're talking about an old fucking vintage van that's older, almost as old as me, actually. This is like an 82 about and uh, basically, uh, you know, make a little video of it uh, where the uh, dulled out silver paint or gray or whatever you want to call it actually doesn't look so bad. Especially under a cloudy day, it would look like shit. So there's a little hint of, you know, yellow from the sun and uh, the beautiful low sun. And, you know, speaking of the sun, I would like to say, interestingly enough, I've noticed, as I was right, as I had predicted, we are today May 21st. Right? Victoria Day here in Montreal, in Quebec, it's Canada is a holiday. Or as we say in French, le jour des patriotes, which I don't fucking understand. And it's been, it's been sunny, it seems like almost a month now. It's the total opposite of what it's been for like, it seems months. Winter, always cloudy, all the fucking time was cloudy or raining or shit. It's cold and now it's, it's gorgeous. So I'm glad to see the Chevy. Scrap! Junk! Nova fucking scrap. Anyway, so I'm glad to film the Chevy. And, uh, you know, especially since I went to a car show today, and I think this was the first. I went to a car show today in St. Lambert, which is annually an amazing car show. I mean, right away I get there, boom, 77 Chrysler New Yorker, 55 Chrysler Imperial, 55 Cadillac Convertible, 63 Chevy Bel Air, and so forth and so forth. And then I start filming this 55 Pontiac fucking uh, uh, Star Chief beautiful gorgeous 55 two-door hardtop with uh, turquoise and white and I'm like the fucking battery dies and I'm like about neck I forgot my battery <laughs> I mean fuck you know anyway whatever so that's about it Whoa, more scrap Nova scrap made in St. Stash fuck him let him try to see me I'm fucking you can't sue me I'm poor I don't got no fucking money I live in Oshalaga about neck I'm fucking bipolar Man, the interior is beautiful. I've never looked at the inside of it. Running boards, large fucking windows, roof rack. It's a beautiful custom. And that's it. And it's a beautiful evening. And even though I'm dead tired, I figured I'm going to take a little walk. And there you go. That's why I live here. As sad as that is, to people who are not passionate about cars, I love old vehicles. Cars, trucks, buses, trains, whatever. Elevators. Even. There, there you go. Another example. Harley Davidson. Even though some of them are too loud. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, sometimes I talk too much, but uh, that's it. So, uh, bonjour, ne bonsoir, and uh, if I owned this thing, I would buff the shit out of that paint, man. I would get a compound cleaner and make that son of a bitch shine like it hadn't shined in years. Tell you that was it.